Janet Sakote couldn't contain her excitement as she set to see her family after more than a decade. She left her work as a domestic helper in Lebanon to spend time with her ailing father here in the Philippines. During this, para inisip ko, ang tagal ko nang nag-abroad, tapos, I think, ayokong umuwi ng Pilipinas na isa sa kanila hindi ko maabutan. Sakote stayed in a hotel with other returning overseas Filipinos and tourists from within and outside Cebu. This is part of a new model adopted by the LGU called multi-use model. Only those who test negative on swab tests upon arrival will be admitted, while the COVID positives will be quarantined in a local government facility. 19 hotels in Cebu are now approved to implement this model, and they are looking to increase the number of available rooms from 3,900 to 5,000. As of now, five more hotels have pending applications. Because of this, we are now very very much uh, aggressive in terms of putting rates. If you're, if you're, if you're planning to come to Cebu, um, then you have the option of staying either city or the resort. Meanwhile, some returning Filipinos were left with no choice but to spend for their own tickets to reach their destination instead of getting OWA to shoulder the cost. OWA Administrator Hans Kaknak admitted that their funds might only last until September. Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia said the province will adhere to IATF protocols after President Duterte announced that the cost of quarantine and RT-PCR tests for returning non-OFWs will be shouldered by the national government. An additional 10-day stay at the hotel burdens our ROFs. And for this, allow me to thank again the President for announcing last night that the ROFs, aside from the OFWs, will not need to pay the hotels since this will be answered for by the national government. But Cabinet Secretary Carlo Nograles said that they will still have to find funding for it. Nograles, Health Secretary Francisco Duque III, and other IATF officials will meet with Garcia tomorrow to discuss the differences in their protocols. For News 5, Dale Devera, We're One News.